Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So for those of you who don't know, I'm actually an actor in Thailand. I've been in four different TV shows and all of them have been BL and I've played both romantic roles and also non-romantic supporting roles. So I am not an expert, but I would say that I have a fairly good knowledge about the BL industry and Thai BLs in general. So I made a post on Twitter asking for any questions you guys might have about the BL industry or just BL or acting or me, I guess. And in today's video, I'll be answering some of those questions. All right, let's get started. The first question is, do you find being half Thai has affected the amount of opportunities you get within the Thai entertainment industry? So this question is actually quite interesting because in terms of like the trends in Thailand of what is perceived as handsome or whatever, I would say that maybe 10 plus years ago, half Asian looking faces were quite popular. But I think now with the boom of like the Korean K-pop industry and stuff like that, K-dramas and stuff, I feel like I wouldn't say it's not like one or the other, but I would say that more 100% Asian looking faces have become more it sounds weird to say trendy, but you guys know what I'm trying to say. Like, I guess like in terms of taste, I would say that recently, as opposed to half Asian people, like full Asian people, uh, more the taste of the younger generation. I don't know for sure, but that's just what I feel. That being said, it has not affected at all my opportunities in the entertainment industry. But what has affected my opportunities is my ability to speak Thai, which is kind of obvious. It sounds really obvious when you put it like that, but I'm actually not a native Thai speaker. I learned Thai after I moved to Thailand when I was around 20 years old and I'm 28. That was eight years ago. So I've been living in Thailand for a while. So I can speak it obviously <laughs> at a very good conversational level. Would I say I'm fluent? I mean, I guess. But what I mean is when I speak Thai, I have a bit of an accent. So I think sometimes when Interfans watch Thai series, they might not pick up on the nuances or whatever. But when I'm speaking to a native Thai speaker, they will know like almost straight away that, okay, this guy probably wasn't born and raised in Thailand kind of thing. So yeah, not my face, but my ability to speak Thai has affected opportunities working in the entertainment industry. By the way, guys, if you're enjoying the video, how about leaving a like? Please press like and subscribe. Uh, what are your thoughts about ghost ships and how do you feel when you find out you're part of alternate ships? Okay, so interesting question. Honestly, it's just whatever. For me personally, by the way, I can only answer these questions on behalf of myself. I don't know how other people feel about those kind of things, but for me personally, I guess it's just kind of funny. You know, if everything's just done with like a little bit of fun and lightheartedness, I don't think it really matters at all. I just think it's just like fun that people can have. I think if you're getting upset about people making ghost ships, then I don't know. I think there's other things in life to get annoyed or angry about. So for me, whatever, it's just kind of funny, to be honest. Okay, this is a good one. Could you tell us about the process from auditioning to actually shooting the film series and even after that promotion release and so on? All right, so this isn't the process for every single BL that's made, but I would say this is the template that most use. Most BL series are actually based off of novels, BL novels. So usually if a novel is popular or a director comes across a novel that they think would be interesting to make a series, they acquire the rights to the novel. They talk to the author or the publisher and they acquire the rights. After that, they will it doesn't matter which comes first, but they will either start casting the characters or they will develop a treatment and the script. So you can cast first, script later, or script first and then cast later. When you're casting, it's important to act out some of the scenes. So they might just write up scenes for the casting process, but the whole script in entirety isn't actually done yet. So then after the cast has been decided, then you enter workshops. That's where the actors will develop chemistry. And actually in BL, a lot of actors are first time actors. So it's also a place for them to learn how to act. You know, acting is kind of just like anything. Some people can just be naturally gifted at it and get it straight away. Other people need a bit more time, but anyone can act. So yeah, you take acting lessons, work on your chemistry together. And then after that, uh, you have fittings, so that's where you start trying on the clothes for the characters. You also take promotional pictures for posters. And then after that's done, you get into shooting. It goes on air, you start doing a lot of promotion. And then depending on how popular the series is, you know, you get, might get a lot of work, you know, going to events, advertisements, and, you know, more acting opportunities. And that's pretty much the entire process. 
All right, so this next one is not specifically about BL, but it's about working as an actor. And I think it's pretty interesting. So as an actor, how do you handle rude criticism thrown at you? Or how do you cope with negativity being thrown at you? Any advice? Okay, so I don't think this is just an actor thing, but I guess because actors are in the public space on social media, that it's easier to, you know, more people know you. It's easier to be exposed to that kind of negative criticism. I think in life in general, you just have to ignore it. I would say me, myself, I'm pretty lucky. I haven't really had a negative experience at all uh, using social media. I would say 99% of my experience being on YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, 99% of the time has been fantastic. And the other 1% I would say has been like, you know, kind of like annoying. But I guess in other people's cases, they would experience a lot more negativity than I have. And my only advice is you just got to ignore it. And that's really easy to say, but you just kind of just, you know, if social media is making you sad and there's a lot of negativity on there, just got to get off it. Because the worst thing you can do is respond. Because once you give someone a response, then they know that they've gotten to you and then they come at you harder. What I mean is that they will be, <laughs> once they know, oh my God, God damn it. What I mean is that they will, you know, do more of what they've been doing, which has been bothering you. So never respond and just do your best to ignore it and stay in a happy place. Sometimes weird stuff comes out of my mouth. As in what I mean, I mean words. I say weird things sometimes. Why are there so many actors that have other jobs? For example, doctors, engineers, does it not pay well? Um, okay, so I think this is a little bit of a misconception. I think actors make a lot less money than people think we do. It's not too much different from other jobs and it's a lot less stable and less secure than regular jobs. I mean, I, I can't just put numbers on it because I don't know how everyone, how much everyone is making, but I do have a kind of funny story about this. One time I was on YouTube and actually I think it was my dad that sent it to me. He sent me a video that someone had made about me that had like my estimated wealth and my lifestyle. So they were like, oh, he has like a million dollars. He drives this kind of car, lives in this kind of place. And it was ridiculous, first of all, but it couldn't have been further from the truth. I would say that not just BL, but if you want to be specific in BL, unless you were like, the main couple or you're like the second couple if it's not super duper popular you can't just rely on acting as your main source of income so i would say that is the reason why a lot of us also have other jobs or maybe even acting is like our second job not in my case acting is my main job but obviously i do other things like youtube streaming and working on some merchandise and stuff like that so yeah that is the reason why does it pay well i mean it can like anything in entertainment it can but I think it's a lot less than a lot of people think. Has anyone in the entertainment industry ever looked down on you just because you are an BL actor? Um, I, not me personally, I've never had that. But I think back in the day, like when BLs were just starting to come out, a lot of people just didn't know what they were. It wasn't about being looked down on. It was just a little bit of like lack of knowledge or maybe just ignorance. Like they just didn't know what BL was. So if you were like, oh, like I'm from a, BL series. It will, in Thai, they're called Siliwai, so that means like Y series. If you would say like, oh, I'm in Siliwai, people would be like, what's that? And then you explain, they're like, oh. Like, they just don't really like understand what it was or I guess the appeal of it. But I wouldn't say anyone ever looked down on me. I never had that experience. So no, especially right now in Thailand, everyone knows what a BL series is. So yeah, definitely. Uh, no being shunned or being looked down upon. Is there friendship in the entertainment industry? Have you met true friends while playing in a series? Yes, of course. I mean, the thing is like, I don't know how it looks from the outside. Maybe BL is this special bubble, like special kind of workplace. I guess some of the things we get up to is pretty cool, pretty unique, pretty special. But at the end of the day, it's just a regular workplace. So when you work somewhere, I'm sure you work with people you like, you work with people you don't like, and you usually become friends with the people that you like. So for me personally, um, most of my best friends in Thailand that I didn't meet at university, I met through working in BLs. So I mean, not just BLs, but just working in the entertainment industry in general. So yeah, of course you can make friends. Do you think Thai BL actors have a genuine bond behind the screen as much as they show on camera? All right, so this is, Honestly, it's like real life. Do I think people are as close as they are behind the camera as they are in front? For sure. I mean, just me personally, 
when I was in My Engineer with Talay, we uh we were really good. We were, I mean, we still are. We were really good friends, like legit good friends. The series finished like three years ago and we still hang out like fairly regularly when our schedules are free. So I know for a fact that if you're talking specifically about romantic couples, if the friendship is real, then yeah, for sure. But I kind of, I understand the question you're asking. And in most cases I would say yes. In some cases, no, but mostly yes. About how long does it take to film an average length BL series, pre, post-production included? All right, so an average BL is around 12 to 14 episodes. And I would say that it usually takes two to three months of shooting. And that is three to four days of shooting a week. So that's how much time it takes to shoot a BL. But if you're talking about the conception of the BL from all the way until it's on air. It can take, I guess, the fastest turnaround I've probably seen is about six months and that's really fast. But yeah, you're looking at at least around a year. What is one running theme you don't typically like in BLs and what is one that you do? A running theme? Ugh, I don't know, that's a pretty tough one. Um, I don't know. Is it wrong of me to say I'm sick of the engineers? <laughs> like. I mean, I was literally in a series called My Engineer. This is not me trying to plug my series, but yeah, I think the engineer thing is cool, but I think it's really been done to death already. So maybe we can like chill out on the engineers. Actually, recently, I don't feel like I've seen many engineering dramas, which has been cool, but also like the engineering thing, I don't feel like it ever really comes into play as a pot point. A pot point, nice. I feel like, the fact that the character is an engineer, they could literally be studying anything. It wouldn't really make a difference, but I understand like association with engineers, manliness, whatever. Yeah, anyway, I feel like there hasn't been very many engineer uh, settings recently, which is cool because yeah, there's been, it's been too many of those, I feel like. And what is something that I, what is a running theme that I do like? Well, one thing that I actually really like about recent Thai BLs for, for, for people overseas who are watching, sorry, I can't stop stuttering. Um, Gay marriage is actually not legal in Thailand. Who'd have thought? But I feel like in a lot of recent BLs, even though they're set in Thailand, the world of that BL series, gay marriage and gay relationships are totally normal. So I really like that. That's a cool thing that's been uh, quite prominent throughout recent BLs. Is like they just ignore real life and be like, yeah, this is how the world should be, which it should. So yeah, hopefully that can translate to real life sometime very, very soon. Right, this one's kind of funny. Thai actors often wear thick knitwear in dramas and on social media. Is it common and isn't it hot? All right, so guys, Thailand is hot like 80% of the year and the rest of the time it's not hot, but it's not cool. If, if you see a TV series where an actor is wearing thick clothing, knitwear, multiple layers outside, just know that under all those clothes, they're literally having a shower. Like it's, I understand why, because it's to make things look nice. You know, if we dressed for the weather, we would be quite limited in our wardrobe. So yeah, we just have to kind of put up with the heat. Even if you shoot inside where there's air conditioning, uh, it still gets pretty hot under those things. And what makes things really difficult is when you start to get sweat patches. So if the sweat comes through, that creates problems because you don't shoot scenes in order all the time. So if one scene you have a sweat patch and one scene you don't, then it starts to make continuity issues, in which case you need to have multiple sets of clothing, like of the same pieces of clothes. Also, it makes you sweat a lot. So between takes, you either got to wipe that sweat off yourself or like the makeup artist will run in dab 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 all the sweat and then you keep going and yeah it's a very long and quite annoying process all right what's your thought slash opinion about fan service i <laughs> i don't know man i feel like fan service what is it really? Nah, um, <laughs> I feel like if there is a balance and lightheartedness and a kind of fun about it, then, you know, I don't really see a huge issue with it. You know, if the actors, just to clarify, there are people who don't go out of their way to do fan service. What I mean is sometimes people are actually genuinely close, like genuinely super good friends. And what you see is just like them interacting as friends. Other people, you know, do a little bit of fan service. Do I think it's bad? I think that if the people doing it feel comfortable and the fans enjoy it, you know, like in a fun way, then yeah, I, I feel like at the end of the day, if it's not hurting anybody or creating big issues or problems, then 
you know, it seems like a little bit of fun. That being said, I just feel like sometimes maybe people like to look into things and analyze body language a lot. And I see those kind of things sometimes. I kind of feel like, well, first of all, that's not correct. And also what is everyone like a, is everyone like a body language expert now? Like, I just feel like sometimes people can take it over the top. But I think like, you know, if it's just for a bit of fun, then whatevs. Since you are fluent in multiple languages, have writers or directors ever changed the script for you to include them? Or is it usually already part of the character's persona? Okay, that's a really good question. Um, yes, so like I said before, not native Thai speaker. So my native language is English and I also speak some Japanese. I have been lucky enough that, yeah, sometimes if there's a line, the director might just be like, this is like from my personal experience, sometimes there'll be a line. And out of nowhere, the director is like, can you say this line in English? And I was like, you mean like in the show? They're like, yeah, I was like, oh. I mean, yeah, but I feel really embarrassed if like everyone is speaking Thai and I suddenly have to speak English, but if that's what the director wants, then director gets what he wants. And I did make a cameo appearance in a like a Thai sitcom recently and my character turned out to be Japanese, obviously because I speak Japanese. So yeah, I guess sometimes if the director is aware, you know, talents that you have, then they might include that in the role, but those weren't originally uh, in the roles that I had taken. The director just added those things after for fun and you know, spice of life. How do you learn your lines? Do you have any special techniques or advice for memorizing? I don't know how other people memorize their lines. I memorize mine by just saying them a bajillion times. That's just, I've always been that way that even when I used to study other languages and stuff, if I had to memorize like kanji or Chinese characters, I would just write them a million times. And I feel like that was the best way to get into my head. But I usually, I don't practice by myself. If possible, like I'll ask my brother to read lines with me because you can't just remember your own lines. You need to know what the other person is going to say as well. And also it helps with remembering the lines because you say your, your line, they say their line. And obviously the next thing you say is a reaction to what they say. So it's all connected, interconnected, interwoven. Multiverse? No, it's not the multiverse. But if you only know your lines, it's not good. It's very bad. Um, because one, you don't know when the person you're speaking to is finished speaking. And sometimes if you only know your own lines, then you kind of like fix the way you say them. But the way you say them needs to be reactive to the person that you're speaking to. So yeah, I would say for... For me, just reading them over and over again or finding someone to run through the lines with you is the best way for memorizing. All right, have you ever disagreed with the style choice for a character, for example, hair, clothes, etc., and have you ever been able to add your own style ideas to a character? I personally, I would say, I personally have never really disagreed with stylistic choices like the outside appearance. I usually just leave that to the director and stylist because my kind of philosophy as an actor, and this is, you know, just mine, depends on the person. But I like to think of myself as a tool to make the director's vision come to life because whether it be a BL series or not BL, movies, whatever, the director is the one that has the image in their head of how this is going to be. That being said, it doesn't mean that I just shut up and have to do everything that they say. I'm allowed to present ideas. Well, I mean, it depends on the production. I mean, I've always been allowed to present ideas. So I say, hey, actually, I like what I, I don't say things like, no, actually, I don't think the character would say this. I think he'd do something like this. I would just be like, hey, what do you think about this? And then they might be like, oh yeah, that's a good idea. Or they'll be like, nah, because it's just based on my understanding of the character. But for me personally, I never think like I own a character or anything like that. Because, you know, even if someone makes a character for you, like for example, if someone was like, oh my God, I want Perth to be in my drama. I'm gonna make this character for him. At the end of the day, even if I can't play that character, someone can. There's not just one person who can play a character. And like there are many people who can play a particular character. So I don't think, of this character as my possession or like I have supreme understanding of this character above all others because obviously there are writers and to write the character, they need to understand the character. That was a really long winded answer. No, I have not had any disagreements, but I have occasionally, you know, made suggestions, but more like about the lines or like actions like, hey, what about if I did this? Or what about if I said this? And then, you know, some of those have been used before and some of them have not. And that's the way it works. Okay. This is a very interesting question. So the question is, when you're part of a ship, do you think that it limits your acting career? So I think um, before you get into a BL, you need to understand that this could be a really long journey as an actor. Like for example, if you are a couple in a BL series and the series 
really takes off that you will have many working opportunities to continue working, like working together with your on-screen partner off-screen, which is really cool, I think, because especially when you're super good friends, I just feel like what's cooler than getting to constantly work with your friend slash friends like all the time. Like it's a very, very unique and lucky experience. I feel like, does it limit your career as an actor? Maybe before, I feel like maybe six, seven years ago, there was this kind of weird taboo about appearing in other things with other romantic leads or anything like that. But I feel like that's not really a thing nowadays anymore. There might've been limits before, but not so much now. I feel like you're free to do other projects. You're not confined to working with one person or two people or three people, or whatever. Yeah, so I feel like right now it's it's not it's not limiting at all. If anything, you know, once you're a part of something successful, it just opens up lots of doors for you to explore and experience, you know, new projects. So yeah, it's really awesome. No, it's not, you know, but like the other projects that you take part in might not be as successful as the BL series that you were in, but it's incredibly difficult to replicate success anyway. So yeah, I would say, nope. All right, last question for the day. Do the actors of BL know of the existence of fanfics uh, made by the fans of these ships? And if the answer is yes, have you ever read one? Um, I am aware that there are, that there is, are fan fictions of characters in BL, but you know, not just BL, there are fan fics of, I'm pretty sure literally anything that you could think of. There is most likely a fan fiction of it. So yes, I'm aware. Have I read one? Nope, I have not. And I don't plan on reading them. You know, no, I just like not in a, in a rude way. I'm just not interested in reading them. And I actually am friends with a few people who write fanfics and I don't think they want their fanfic read by the people who appear in the fanfics, whether it be the character or the person or whatever. I think it's just a fun thing that fans do and that they can like share with each other. But uh, nope, never read one. And to be honest, probably never will. All right, that was really, really fun. You guys asked some really interesting questions. I think this is the second one of these videos I've made now. So if you guys would like a third one sometime, please let me know in the comments down below. Maybe I can try and get a guest on. It's kind of difficult because everyone is really busy, but it would be pretty fun to answer these questions with another BL actor sometime. That would be really, really cool. Thank you so much for watching today's video and I'll see you in another one coming very soon. See ya. Uh, also, it's kind of funny because people refer to me as a BL actor and I also, it's in the title of the video. It's not like I, I, yes, I have only appeared in BL dramas up until now, but I don't exclusively appear in BL dramas. It's just the opportunities that have come my way have led me down this path. But yes, just would like to clarify.